Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions and that brought another to mind. And another. Ooh, and another. Alexios! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sophanes can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had the list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's the small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. Stay hidden. His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. Ah. 
My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanis' name is on the list, but it came at a price. Blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens' list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there's more after this, I want to know now. Of course. This should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just... ask him to help? Parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome? Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about debts. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alcibiades said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you, though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? True Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do.
Sounds like Theon may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. Let's hope no one notices me here. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? A person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. to stay up. Come on! <laughs>